Hi everyone, welcome to the very first Taylor's Corner. I'm super excited to start sharing my tips and tricks with you guys, as well as just being a part of an awesome family such as Prolite. So today I think I'm going to start with showing you guys what's in my bag. I know we've done this before, but being able to go a little bit in depth with everything, I think it's going to be a little more intimate and I'm excited for that. So I'll just start with my paddles, obviously. So these are the paddles I typically play with, my cipher being number one. Um, and I keep mostly the other ones just in case other people that are around want to try out a new paddle or, you know, they've been interested about one and they haven't been able to try it out yet. Um, and I'm all about the carbon fiber. Um, I love the Rebels and the fiberglass, but my my thing is mostly carbon fiber. I like the increased control. And even though you lose a little bit of power, I'm okay with that because I'm able to hit exactly where I want to every time. So usually my paddles are in here in the main compartment. I love Prolite's little cover as well. I keep that in there too. Um, so in the bottom, I've got my shoes. And I wanna show you guys this. I love them so much. Got Prolite Proud on the side and then the ball and bolt in the back. These shoes are super comfortable, but they don't seem to last a really long time. Uh, you can see like six months of play on the bottom. They're already just about worn out. I have pretty finicky feet anyway, so it's important for me and I need art support too, um, just to make sure that I'm really, really careful with what I put on my feet. Um, in here, it's the insulated compartment, and I just keep my snacks and my food. Um, I really, really like the Adkins bars and snacks. Um, I've been doing a low-carb diet for a while now. I do low-carb and high-protein, high-fat. So I keep some of the little Adkins treats in here. Um, I keep oatmeal for when I travel, and then water flavoring, too. So just to always make sure I'm prepared. Um, and then of course my peanuts. Anybody that plays with me knows that I always have to have a jar of peanuts with me all the time. Um, I keep my cipher over here typically. I have all my keychains from different tournaments and I've got some pro light keychains on here too. My Germex of course and some sunscreen. Um, in the back I've got all my bands that I get from tournaments which is perfect. It's a perfect place for it. I put it on this carabiner. Um, I like my little pins too, so I only have a couple right now. I don't want it to get too full, but I've got my Mayor Max pin from Idlewild, California from when I went to Nationals, and then a little rock pin because I am all about the rocks. Um, and I want to talk to you guys more another day about that. Um, it's something that really helps me and really calms me down and keeps me focused. Um, over here, this is kind of my catch-all little compartment here. I've just got things like deodorant. I've got face wipes um, for whenever it's real hot outside. Um, Preemptive CBD cream smells so good and it helps me a lot um, with aches and pains. And then Tiger Balm too. I usually don't use that. It seems to be a little harsher. I like the all natural um, products as much as I can. As much as I can get them, I'll use those. Um, this little pouch, I don't know if you guys can see this. I keep just band-aids, fingernail clippers, and chapstick, which is perfect for the little tiny things. And then finally up here in this one, I've got um, pens. I've got some more CBD, um, my cards, my ambassador cards, um, and my tape for, let me grab this, for my edge guard. I always make sure I'm all sparkly and it protects the edge guard too. So I've had some really, really good luck with that. Um, oops, let me show you guys. I've got all kinds of different colors. I showed you these three, the lighter blue. I've got a darker blue, a darker pink. My mom got me some sparkly polka dots and then the stuff that's on my cipher too. So I always try to keep these handy um, because, you know, people either want their paddle rewrap, their handle, or if they're having issues with the 
edge guards, getting them all scuffed up. I know here on the Supernova, this is my first Pro Light paddle I played with, and the sides are just scratched up so bad. Whenever I got my new paddle, I knew I didn't want to ruin it like I had this one. Because um, especially in the beginning, I would do, I would, I don't know if it was that I wasn't paying attention or I was just playing way too hard, but I was always scraping my paddle on the ground. So um, I think this has been on here for a couple months now. And it's not too bad. You see just a couple little nicks on here. Um, but whenever it gets too bad, I just replace it. But it tends to last quite a while. And I mean, it's only a few bucks, so it's perfect. But that is what's in my bag. And I am very excited to start this series of vlogs. And I hope to be able to share some good information with you guys. Stay safe. Thanks.